Welcome to Emerald Tablet 11, um, part, let me think, two, three, four, five, part six, because one of them was like a 30 second clip, and so that wasn't anything. All right, uh, we were discussing, each has his own part to play in the cycles, that kind of thing, that kind of craziness. Um, yeah, each is where the cycle below thee is not yet below thee, but only form for need that exists. For know ye the fountain of wisdom that sends forth the cycles, is eternally seeking new powers to gain. Ye that knowledge is gained only by practice. Oh, yeah, the ye know that knowledge is gained only by practice. So, and so like it's you gotta practice. You gotta practice. Isn't that right? We're here with Jimmy. We're here with Jimmy. 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 I mean, I'm Billy. I'm Billy. My name is Billy. Um, <laughs> how are y'all doing in the future? Okay. Ye know that knowledge is gained only by practice, and wisdom comes forth only from knowledge. So wisdom comes from knowledge, but knowledge is gained by practice. So practice equals knowledge equals wisdom. That's the process. You can't be wise without, like, some kind of, like, you know, uh, knowledge, right? You know? Sure. Like, he's wise. Like, he might be, oh, well, maybe it's natural. Maybe it's Maybelline. For the plane of law that is the source of all. Yeah, that was all. Okay. Only different in space and time, the consciousness there is working in testing lesser things than those ye are know. Just as ye are working on greater, so above ye are those who are also working as ye are on yet other laws. The difference that exists between the cycles is only in ability to work with the law. We who have been in, we who have been in, Cycles below thee are those who first came forth from the source and have in the passage through time space gained ability to use laws of the greater that are far beyond the conception of man. Nothing there is nothing there is that is really below thee, but only a different operation of law. Um, I saw a video recently on uh, simulation theory, and uh, it was a Billy Carson, and like he was talking about how we make the Sims, you know, like that game, and the Sims um, will eventually have the ability in approximately five to eight years be conscious, like of themselves, and if that's true, then they will eventually develop the technology to make their own sims game simulating their reality and what i thought was interesting was like so imagine these conscious beings dude in a computer game you can literally make things appear out of thin air okay so their reality is that things appear out of thin air Boom. or if we looked farther into it maybe they're actually doing things on a microscopic that we're not seeing maybe we're not seeing everything they're seeing you know according to them but i mean that's that's a wholly crazy idea you know but uh and then that simulation will create that simulation um of, of their reality of their reality of their reality it just keeps on going and going just like infinite <clears throat> and that's what kind of billy carson was talking about too but Crazy. Look the above. Maybe that's where we approximately left off. So um, somewhere around there is um, where I think we got to. Maybe we got a little farther. I don't know. Look the above and look the below. The same shall ye find. For all is but part of the oneness that is at the source of the law. The consciousness below thee is part thine own as we are part of thine Basically, <clears throat> if you look at any kind of level, we will be, uh, um, there will be some mix, whether small or big, um, that we are connected to basically everything and, uh, literally everything. Um, 
to look above the yoke of the same shall ye find. So everything, you know, our body is like the earth body. Mm -hmm. Our the earth body is like the sun. I don't know, sun body, the solar system body. You know, I, yeah, goes on and on. Do you have anything to add, there, Jimmy? I'm gonna talk on this so I can see what other. Yep. Part of the subject over here. No problem, Mo. The consciousness below thee is part of thine own. So basically, we don't need to treat just lower dimensional beings. You know, they're lower dimensional beings. Um, so, you know, think of them as like bad or just like evil or not as good as we are. They're just in a different part of um, the progress. And some, some just as well as some, some people learn really fast, others learn, learn really slow. So that'll be the same way with souls. Like, and it talked about in this too, um, how... <clears throat> Like, there's not one way to, there's never repeated one way to get to, like, the, back to the source. Otherwise, it would be um, in, in vain or something like that. And so, so every, every being is absolutely different. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. Do, 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 do. Ye, as a child, had not the knowledge that came to ye when ye became a man. <clears throat> Compare ye the cycles to... Cubs! Cubbies! Cubbies, everybody! Ye as a child had not yet the or, ye as a child had not the knowledge that came to ye when ye became a man. Compare ye the cycles to man in his journey from birth unto death, and see in the cycle below thee the child with the knowledge he has, and see yourself as the child grown older, advancing in knowledge as time passes on. See ye we also, as the child grown to manhood with the knowledge and wisdom that came with the years. So also, O Toth, are the cycles of consciousness, children in different stages of growth, yet all from the one source, the wisdom, and all to the wisdom returning again. Ceased the he from speaking and sat in the silence that comes to the Lord's. Then again spake. He unto me, saying, O Toth, long have we sat in Omente, guarding the flame of life in the halls. Yet, no, we are still part of our cycles, with our vision reaching unto them and beyond. A, know we that of all, nothing else matters, excepting the growth we can gain with our soul. Know we the flesh is fleeting, the Things men count great are nothing to us. The things we seek are not of the body, but are only the perfected state of the soul. When we, when ye, as men, can learn that nothing but progress of soul can count in the end, then truly ye are free from all bondage, free to work in a harmony of the law. <coughs> okay, that's my favorite... Uh, I think that's one of my favorite lines in this whole thing, like, uh, the things we seek are not of the body, but are the perfected states of the soul. Mm -hmm. But they, you know, like, and then, no, O oh man, you, ye should aim at perfection, for only thus can ye attain the goal. Though ye should know that nothing is perfect, yet it should be thy aim and thy goal. Ceased again the voice of the nine, and into my consciousness the words had sunk. Now seek I evermore wisdom, that I may be perfect in law with the all. Ye as a child had not knowledge that came... Oh, well, okay, going back to... Let's interpret this shizzle. I mean, I, some of it's kind of, you know, like, yeah, makes sense. Ye as a child had not the knowledge that came to ye when ye became man. 
So yes. Oh, never mind. Compare ye the cycles to man in his journey from birth unto death, and see in the cycle below thee the child with the knowledge he has, and see yourself as a child grown older, advancing in knowledge as the time passes on, and see we as a child grown to manhood with the knowledge and wisdom that came with the years. Basically, it's uh, <coughs> the cycles um, the child goes through are kind of the same cycles that an adult goes through, just on a different... I think that would be kind of what he's saying. Um, That's exactly what he's saying. And see in the cycle below you. Yeah, okay, we got that. The child brain grows to learn. When a duck, when a duck gets about the age of 12, basically I expect for them to know everything, but they don't. Right. <clears throat> so also, Toth, are the cycles of consciousness children in different stages of growth yet all from the one source the wisdom and all to the wisdom returning again what's the returning again thing yet all all from the one source uh, <clears throat> well, you know when, when you use the word something coming back yeah when you use the word wisdom Wisdom is like, uh, this is everything, you know, you just sun up in your mind, you didn't learn in life, that's wisdom, period. You know? Oh, definitely. That's wisdom. Well, experiences lead to knowledge, I think, maybe. Mm hmm And knowledge leads to wisdom! Don't we want to be wise sometimes? I think so. It could be. Some people are on a different path. It is okay. They're in their own cycle going through. Don't treat them just because they're in a different cycle than you. Right? Jesus. Man. Okay. Cease then he from speaking and sat in silence that comes to the Lord's. And again spake he unto me. So he, he sat in silence. Basically. See, then he from speaking. Like, see, that's like a little oddity. Like, you know, does he, does he need to say, oh, well. Like, he, he stopped speaking. And sat in silence that comes to the Lord's. Then again they spoke unto me, O Toth, long have we sat in Omante, guarding the flame of life in the halls. Yet, you know, we are still part of our cycles with our vision reaching unto them and beyond. They know we that of all nothing else matters except the growing we can basically. It only matters if it's towards your gain of the soul. Your soul growth. You know? Why not? Yet no, we are still part of our cycles with our vision reaching unto them and beyond. Vision saw a video too like on a freaking um let's see they were talking about oh si sending sending messages in the future and in the past this oh, guy yeah. this guy used to um get get scared all the time for some reason i can't remember why but he he supposedly sent messages <laughs> into the future or some or past what it doesn't really matter i mean it's still um to see to set up a blue light or something and know that it's going to be okay so so then that's what he remembers i don't know some weird <sighs> yeah we're crazy crazy no no, we the flesh is fleeting. The things men count great are nothing to us. Yeah, like money and all that stuff. They're nothing to us. Because they're higher dimensional beings. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
they can get things out of thin air if they want to. I mean, come on. What a fun time. Um, like, we're kind of creating the... Uh, 